has a little problem and doesn't stick horizontally. Also, uh, if you can hear my audio, this is the, uh, the new uh, um, DJI Microphone 2, which uh, came with the uh, Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo. So uh, totally trying out uh, this kind of thing. And I think I have to click in, go live on uh, LinkedIn as well. So previously we have only been streaming on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Now we are live on LinkedIn as well. So second, welcome to my LinkedIn connections. This is an experimental setup uh, on uh, mobile setup with my Osmo Pocket 3 camera. Um, streaming through the uh, YOLO Box Pro to YouTube and Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. Uh, I'm at the moment uh, in the uh, Bayerischer Hof in Munich. That's a hotel uh, very in the, in the very center of uh, Munich. Uh, we've been on the weekend here uh, just privately doing, uh, uh, going on the Christ Kindle market, the Christmas market, which is uh, very nice. Now, uh, we, we're going to talk a little bit of uh, business, of course, uh, after all. So, uh, welcome to this uh, live coffee with me, talking about, of course, about sustainability and uh, recovered carbon black. A big thank you to everyone who has been on the uh, recovered carbon black conference in Barcelona. Uh, more than 350 people. Also, thank you to all my consulting clients this year. I'm more or less, as many of you are, uh, I'm finishing the, uh, the year. I think generally for the industry, for me as well, has been uh, quite a uh, challenging year with uh, two wars going on, with inflation going on, uh, with uh, increased costs, um, especially in Germany, electricity costs really went through the roof and many companies are reconsidering uh, the location of Germany for any uh, production unit. But still, I do know that there are many startups wanting to start production in Germany uh, and also specifically recovered carbon black production. So um, congratulations and I'm with you, I'm helping you, uh, I'm supporting you uh, for making it work. I think a high cost production can be uh, made to work if uh, the products are of uh, high value. And we see this with the uh, location uh, Switzerland. We see this, uh, um, you know, everything Swiss is very high quality, very desirable, very expensive. Uh, and of course, the production costs in Switzerland are uh, very high. Let me see um, already whether we have uh, some comments. We have no comments yet. Um, maybe we have uh, very few viewers yet. If you're watching, please uh, write a comment, uh, write uh, where you're from, uh, maybe who you are, uh, or just say hi, uh, and uh, so that I can mention you in this uh, stream. Uh, or if you're watching this uh, later, not uh, live, if you watch this video later, uh, just say hi in the comments anyway, and uh, uh, nice, uh, thank you for watching. So back, back to uh, production uh, in Germany. Uh, other countries, of course, uh, have uh, suffered the same uh, increased costs. Uh, there's a lot of uh, volatility in the market. Um, also, uh, particularly with investors uh, who are doing a much uh, tougher uh, due diligence for any investments in, uh, in small startups. And um, as I mentioned in the conference, in the Recovered Calm Black uh, conference, uh, investments are really needed. Investments in the uh, supply production chain. Uh, otherwise, we will not see meaningful industrial volumes of recovered carbon black uh, going into the market. Um, and my target investors, the investors I really hope would uh, invest into the um, recovered carbon black production, include uh, carbon black makers uh, and include uh, petrochemical companies. We've seen the investment of BSF into uh, Pyram Innovations, uh, but they also include uh, the tie industry. Um, now, admittedly, um, the tie industry is uh, quite far away from the uh, handling of powders uh, uh, otherwise than uh, taking powders in and mixing them into the rubber. Um, but uh, so the tie industry uh, technically is maybe a little bit far away from recovered uh, carbon black production. But because of the circularity aspect that we can recycle tires into uh, tires, back into tires, 
um, I think the Thai industry should invest into uh, recovered carbon-black industry. Are you having coffee too? Uh, I'm having a Nespresso here from the, from the hotel. Let's uh, see what, what it is uh, tasting like. So no, no comment uh, yet. Um, I'm just going on uh, a little bit. Um, where, where does uh, 24 um, will be for the recovered carbon black industry, but uh, also for uh, generally for sustainable materials for companies that are um, producing or that are, intend to produce uh, innovative uh, materials that can be used in polymers, maybe in tires, maybe in, uh, in rubber. Um, I think uh, the, the difficult situation um, with um, investor um, holding back, investors holding back to invest large sums uh, will still persist uh, next year. What will happen uh, also is that um, specifically to recovered carbon black, uh, we will have uh, many more um, testing methods. We'll have the classification method hopefully confirmed. Um, having only four tests for recovered carbon black, which give you a great name. Uh, and then, um, as today, it is not possible to get uh, advanced um, sales contracts with uh, the tire industry and the rubber industry. Uh, I think uh, having the classification accepted um, by all parts of the industry, um, then it might be possible to pre-contract recovered carbon black, as the tire paralysis operators can do with the oil. Um, they can pre-contract the oil. 10-15 um, years in advance, which is not possible for recovered carbon black. If it was possible for recovered carbon black, I think uh, that would be a major step forward in uh, de-risking. De-risking, and I hope that investors then, uh, you know, could buy it more easily into uh, um, investing into the uh, recovered carbon black uh, supply chain. So I'm seeing myself uh, on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, I'm seeing uh, no comments uh, up to now from, um, from uh, YouTube and Facebook. I need to see actually where the LinkedIn comments, I think uh, they don't go straight into the, the yellow box, um, but uh, on the LinkedIn page, there are no, no comments yet. Maybe everyone busy uh, closing the year, um, closing um, the, um, the, the business making sure that um, you know there will be um, ongoing business for for next year getting contracts in in carbon black usually uh, this is the hot phase where tire makers and carbon black suppliers uh, will uh, sign and uh, close the contracts for uh, next year uh, and sometimes the contracting starts very early sometimes even in um, august uh, september uh, but uh, surely all uh, suppliers and all, also the buyers hope to close the uh, contracts uh, for carbon black supplies uh, at the end of the year, certainly before uh, Christmas. So uh, maybe everyone is uh, busy right now. Uh, I'm quite happy with this uh, experimental live stream uh, because it's a uh, working multi-stream uh, on YouTube, on Facebook and on uh, LinkedIn. The only thing I was not able to uh, was to uh, stream horizontally. I don't even know if I manually switch the, the screen, which will not stay like this. Would, uh, would we switch to horizontally? Yes, we do. But we have my, uh, my finger in the, in the camera. So this would be the, the screen uh, from the Osmo Pocket 3 if I uh, filmed horizontally. Now on LinkedIn, it doesn't, uh, didn't switch to uh, horizontally, or maybe we just have a, uh, a lag on uh, LinkedIn. Now we're switching to horizontal on uh, LinkedIn uh, too. Uh, unfortunately, I have to keep my finger on the screen because when I switch back, my Osmo Pocket will go back to uh, vertical mode. But uh, once working, I think this is a nice, uh, neat little setup to uh, do a live stream, maybe from customers, maybe when they start um, tire paralysis uh, operation, uh, to film and uh, to stream directly from the manufacturing uh, facility uh, and show how it is working. Show the tires coming in and uh, show the recovered calm black uh, and the uh, recovered uh, oil going out. Uh, that certainly is my, my passion, my motivation. Um, and as soon as uh, new companies uh, go on stream in production with recovered calm black and uh, recovered oil, uh, I will be surely be there and uh, be live streaming, interviewing uh, the companies uh, and uh, showing uh, the, um, 
the ongoing uh, production. Well, that's it uh, for today. Um, with a coffee break, quick coffee break, with Martin streaming from Munich. Um, I hope uh, you have a good closing of the year. Uh, wish you uh, health, wish you uh, peace and uh, stay in contact uh, if you want to do live streams with me or videos uh, or if you're interested in my consulting, uh, please contact me. It will be a pleasure working with you uh, next year. So uh, take care and best wishes from uh, Berlin.